Hey guys, it's Chuck Grove with Forge and Truth, and I found something really neat that I wanted to show you. This mushroom right here is the frost bullet. And how I know it's the frost bullet, you see this pattern on the stem? It has that net pattern. Deep red and yellows going up. Almost resembles like the cap of a morel with its pits and ridges and this bright red color. So we know we have the frost bullet. It also has this sticky cap. And if these are newer, it always, it's, it's very, very sticky and it has this like slimy feeling to the cap. Now you're gonna see that that stains blue almost instantly when you cut it. You can see that net pattern really well. And it also has red, a red pore surface. Check this out. Stains blue instantly. So I'm also seeing some small amber droplets. They're very, very small. I'm probably gonna be able to show you to them in the camera. And the spore print for this mushroom, uh, the frost bullet or the apple bullet, which is known by commonly, is going to be a yellow or a olive brown. So this is gonna be kind of surprising, but this is an edible mushroom. For most, some people have a slight stomach upset Okay, so you wanna make sure you wanna test yourself that you do not get a stomach upset when you're trying to ingest the apple bullet. Um, the edibility for this, this mushroom isn't just edible, it is actually good. So this has a good flavor when cooked up. I have never eaten this. This is what I'm expanding to, the apple bullet. The genus name for this mushroom is Boletus frostii. Is an amazingly pretty mushroom. And you can see why they call it the apple bullet. It looks like an apple on the ground. So there is a couple more here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these ones harvested and we'll show you what they look like at the end. How many do we have? This one has the amber droplets on it down inside the cap. See those amber droplets? That is just really cool. They look like sparkles inside the cap. So, let's go down and see if we can find a couple more. I'm not seeing a lot of them right here, but I'm seeing a few. And then here's one in behind a tree. Let's see if this one has the amber droplets on it as well. No, it does not. So guys, we have a nice little harvest of the apple bowette. And I'm gonna to to take these home and try them out for myself and see how I react to it. Uh, I'll do that by just taking a small piece of the margin of the cap and frying it up. And uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, if you guys enjoyed this video on Boletus frostii, the apple bolete mushroom, then make sure you hit the like, share, and subscribe. And let's bring back the old knowledge of what our grandparents used to use from the woods so we don't have to rely on the modernized society and having to go to the grocery store to get things to eat. So make sure you pass this knowledge on by sharing this video. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out, you get a notification. And always keep foraging.